Hi, in this video I will show how to uh, use application for converting JSON files to Markdown files. You can see on my computer I have a state JSON file and I can drag it into Open Firefox just to show you what is inside. And inside you can see there is a hierarchical structure, it's basically an array of data with um, for every state from state name Alabama, state code, region, subregion, first record, second record is Alaska. I can also open it with a notepad just to show you what is inside, what it looks like. This is like pure JSON, this is how JSON looks like. And you can see all data is here. Or I can open it with a JSON viewer. Oh, let me open it again, sorry. JSON viewer, so it's a free app. It's just showing what is inside the JSON file. It's just trying to flatten JSON hierarchical structure to table and show it as a table. And um, also I can export into different format if I want to. But you, basically you, you can see that it has information about states, like state names, state code, region, subregion, and all 50 states from Alabama to Wyoming is here. So I will leave the uh, leave link on this viewer too. Uh, and um, I will convert this file, uh, state.json, with app to markdown file and post it on GitHub and uh, show you just uh, like, uh, so that the markdown is correct. So um, uh, to know, load up, I'll go to my website. This is my website. I find the app, I'll click on search and type markdown and click on this export to markdown and scroll down to JSON to markdown, this one. And click on the load to start the loading process. And we'll wait until archive will be downloaded from Google Cloud. I will be recording more videos on Markdown converters and applications and Markdown files. And um, also, I already had a lot of video on JSON converters and JSON viewers. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will be recording more videos on JSON files. Obviously, it's very popular for me. So you can see archive is downloaded. Uh, from Google Cloud and it's downloading very slowly for some reason. <laughs> it's just six megabyte file, it's, it's not a big deal. Yep. And I will click on downloaded archive to open it. say opening and double click on MSI inside archive to start installation click on more info here I'm getting this screen from Windows because I'm not a registered publisher with Microsoft you can see publisher unknown I'll just click run anyway to start installation click on next next install click on yes and click on finish and you can see application has been installed on my computer I have a new shortcut on my desktop now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app now, conversion is a three steps process. In first step, I will have to select my JSON file or multiple JSON files if I want to, select, to convert all of them into one Markdown file. For example, I can select entire, if I have like a lot of files in my folder, I can select entire all files in the folder and just click Ctrl A and click on open and they all will be converted to Markdown. Oh, they're all JSON, obviously. But uh, for demonstration purposes, we will convert one, and it's my state um, uh, JSON. I show you, right? I'll type. I also I can navigate to different folder if my file into different folder. But because I know that um, my file into documents, we are already here. So I just type it, click open, click on next. There are no conversion options here. I'll just click next step, and here I can preview my markdown. Okay, I can just save it as a text file. So let's go and save it. It's asking me for name and location. This name and location is okay. Just save. And file has been saved. Now let's go to github.com. GitHub and I have a I have a test page I can use. This readme is okay. I'll click edit. Now go and open our text file we created from JSON. Just double click. Control A. Control C and go to github control v and then i can commit changes and you can see our table nicely converted from json to a markdown table 
all looking good. We have all 50 states from Alabama to Wyoming and all data converted as well. So yeah, basically that's it. Um, you can run this application from command line if you want to schedule some running or if you want to like include it into batch file or um, like, like I said, if you want to convert all files into your folder, you can just do that from, from command line with, with one line basically. Um, yeah, basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments. Thank you.